Big PM again, Tuesday evening. It's uh, MCC again, back with another Annie Blue Live. I'm quite enjoying it at the moment because it's quiet. Mm. Becky's got a mouth full of chocolate, she can't talk. <laughs> I'm being scowled at, I'll just wait and see who joins us. Sarah's here, Jimmy's here. Alright, cool. We've got some. Always everyone. <clears throat> Sarah says, hello, guys. Oh. <clears throat> I'm choking on my galaxy. <laughs> We've got a Bailey Boo. <laughs> Probably gonna bug me to death now because it's a live time, isn't it? So uh, yeah, I was, I'm gonna think about what to talk about tonight. So I thought I'd start with the any blue chrome oil. I seem to get asked a lot of questions about this one, whether it's a polish or whether it's a cleaner or that sort of thing. It's actually a, a, a protection oil. It forms a coating to stop things going rusty, oxidised, whatever, that sort of thing. Hi, Kate. And I thought what I'd do is I've just polished this. Uh. So I thought I'd show how I... Put a thin film of the chrome and alloy oil on. Right, Bailey, are you going to help me? Yeah, so it has been polished with the uh, Annie Blue polish. The metal polish, that is. So just make sure there's no uh, storm. Tiny, tiny drop. Just dab it on, just spread it out as thinly as you can. So this, this isn't polishing it as such, although it will get some muck off if it's dirty, but this is just putting a, a thin anti-corrosion coating on. You leave that on. And it is fine on exhaust. I've, I've put it on the Harley. This one's off the Jawa. And it's fine to run your engine with this stuff on. It won't go, it won't start burning or it won't get coloured, turn yellow or oxidised or anything like that. But I suppose I should reiterate where this one came from. I actually made this oil for a sword that I've got, a reenactment sword, to stop it from going rusty. And it contains natural, what they call chelating agents, which actually bind to the metal atoms and that holds the oil in place and coats it and protects it. You know, like these metal chimneys um, and fire pits and stuff that sort of life is black and then end up brown with rust. Would you be? Could you coat them with that? You could do, but I think the high temperatures of fire might burn it off. So I'm not sure how well it'd burn. I mean, the exhaust doesn't get as hot. Like that, mm. So it's okay on there. But you can get up to like. 
so the temperature in the fry pan mm. once the coals are burning you bring it up to like 1500 degrees so the temperature whereas your normal your normal like gas oven is about 300 degrees top i think is it 120 something like that so i'm not sure you could do it if you weren't going to use it all the winter because you just wanted to protect it and put it away that would be a better thing to use it for yeah over the winter but uh, I think as soon as you have a fire in it you'd have to clean off and reapply afterwards the exhaust you don't have to do that it should stay on but usually what I do with this is um, polish it if, like, if I put it away for winter I'll give it a good coat with this stuff and uh, you don't get a spot of rust or anything with this stuff on over winter If anyone that's just joins wondering what it is that Mark's actually putting this on, it's the exhaust off of his Jawa. So it's still nice and shiny. See the shine through it. It's very, very thin film. It's not bad metal. looking that for an exhaust, is it? And it'll stick to the metal. There's not many bikes that are as well looked after as yours, my love. Yeah, well, I'm not as obsessive as someone could mention. <laughs> this is true, yeah. Is it? No. Oh. My friend Tony is a, if you think I'm bad, you should see him, he's meticulous, isn't he? Absolutely. And he uses any blue stuff and swears by it. Mm. Which is, uh, he won't put any old stuff on his bike, will he? No. So, yeah, it's uh, quite a testament to stuff that he uses I mean the other things you could use it on is uh, I mean they do intend to do it yourself actually they've got brass fittings on this is chrome fittings on the front door so I'm going to polish those and then coat it with this and that'll keep the weather off Jimmy says he's probably cleaning one of his bikes as we're speaking yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well there's daylight yeah He's just bought some plastic fittings for his um, bearing. There's nothing wrong with the old ones, he just wanted these new fancy ones. But it does look cool, right? But... Well, Spud's watching. Spud's watching. Alright. And Julie's here as well. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I hope everyone's keeping well, keeping the sanity. While this uh, lockdown business goes on, I don't think it'll be much longer now. No, I don't think it will be. So, you know, with the um, chrome and alloy oil, then, love, I mean, I suppose that um, sort of like any garden furniture and stuff like that. There's any bare metal on it, yeah. Yeah. Could be able to come back, yeah. Any bare metal. That's what it's for. So, if you were using it on stuff like that, so why don't, I don't know, like, garden furniture, tables, chairs, sun lounges or whatever. Would you do it now or would you wait until you pull it away? You could do it now. I would do it when I pull it away, yeah. That's just, um, if you are going to pull it away, it's, that's probably an ideal time to do it. But it'll work any time. So basically anything made of metal that doesn't live in your house that you're not going to use over winter, for instance before you put it away in your shed and for it not yeah. to see the light of day again then you could do with a coat of that really couldn't it but it's for the bare metal that isn't painted or anything like that if you put it on top of paint it's not going to do much mm. paint will do the job and it's got to be clean as well if there's any rust on it it's um, wasting your time it, it'll arrest it I think to a certain extent If there's rust there, rust just carries on, doesn't it? Regardless, even if you paint over it, it'll carry on underneath. You've got to get that rust off. Once it's off and you put that on, it shouldn't be any any problem. Oh, Sarah's just realised you haven't got subtitles. All right. Can you understand me then? <laughs> <laughs> 
Perhaps uh, Facebook have decided that the subtitles is a bad idea. Mm. I did put some of that silver in, didn't I? I did put it. It's not time stringy yet, but no. it's only been a week. My apologies, I've not cleaned the Pegasus yet. I've just not had time to do it. I started on it, didn't I? Mm. So I've not done all of it. Perhaps you could just, because um, it's down there, isn't it? And you've got the stuff at the side of you. For anybody that missed last week's live, you could perhaps just show them how well the metal polish works. Well, I started polishing the base, didn't I? Hmm. Well, it looks like Sarah it. says it looks better than WD-40, which a lot of people use to protect over winter. Well, that, that is one of the reasons I came up with it, because the WD evaporates. And it, it's not designed really to stick to the metal. It's more for freeing off nuts and bolts and stuff like that. It's, um, I've, I've sprayed my bikes with WD and gone out in the wet in winter and it didn't cut the mustard. And it, it, when on your exhaust especially, it'll just boil away, it's gone. This one, it, it'll leave, leave. Like I say, it's, these chelating agents will actually stick to the metal and hold the oil on it. You are WD clever. Do that. Our Lulu says, hello, genius. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> you were grabbing Pegasus. I mean, I... I, I uh, well, I'm not cleaning that. No, I was just going to say, you could show cleaning a little bit of it. Oh. And you keep. Not with the polish. Hmm. It's a little bit grubby. I'm just going to clean up the back side then. So this beautiful Pegasus, which is absolutely gorgeous, was Mark's dad's. So he did the base on the live last week, which is over there, which you can see gleaming. Well, it's had Bailey on it since, I can no, see. It's got Bailey slobber on yeah. Bailey slobber on it since. Um but he did promise that he was going to do this, but we haven't had time. He's been too busy. I will do it. I'll get around to it. Because I wanted to do half of it with the chrome and alloy oil as well, just to see the difference. Mm. Leave out. That's what I've done with that ring. Now, the other bits of silver I've not done. So we'll see how dark they go compared to that. Mm. But for anybody that I didn't see this in action last week, I think it was a really, really good demonstration of it. I know Sharon Blurton bought some on the back of this to do her jewellery, it's done all her jewellery and tried to do everything else in her house. Can you see that? Ish. Like nobody st dare stand still in uh, Sharon's house at the moment because they're just getting cleaned. <laughs> she even done a kitchen sink with this, hasn't she? Yeah. And it's come up fantastically. It does require a little bit of elbow grease, but it's quick, isn't it? Well, you can cheat and use electric uh, cleaners and that if you like. Poor Pegasus. We need to look after him better, don't we? Yeah. You can actually see the light starting to actually bounce off of it. There's your oxide. I think I've got a bit of oil on this tissue, so perhaps why it's not on any. Here's the cloth, isn't it? Claire says that's ridiculously amazing. Once Mark moves his hand, we're all going to be blinded. <laughs> Lou says, I'll not show out clean Ashton cleaning a horse's butt. <laughs> it is remarkable how well this works. You can see the difference. 
this guy again. Gosh, yeah, just a little bit. It's fantastic. He said it couldn't be done. All natural metal polish. Yeah, all natural metal polish. So just show, uh, put that side up, his dirty side. So that's the dull, dirty side. There you go. It's just, it's just remarkable. You think how little effort you just put into that. It's brilliant. Shiny, shiny. Pegasus has a shiny bottom. Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we have took some pictures, haven't we? Mm. Of that before and the before and afters. I know, Sarah says, I can even see you in the reflection, Becky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just, it is remarkable. You know, it's to think that it is completely natural. Mm. It took some formulating that, didn't it? Yeah, it was made the hardest one I've ever done. Like I said, they did say it couldn't be done. Mm -mm. You just like to prove people wrong, love, don't you? <laughs> but it took you, oh gosh, months and months, didn't it? Months and months. Ridiculous amounts of research. Mm. Claire says that's in my next order. <laughs> I just had to laugh at um, Sharon Blurton the other day when she received hers because she did a jewellery. And then she was like, what else can I do? And she was just wandering around the house yeah. trying to find stuff to clean. <clears throat> but, yeah, I've got to clean that with it. It was a bit rusty around the gills, but that's because I'd been out in the salt a few times and left it. Yeah, bloody salt and rolls, it's, I hate it. Mm. I mean, even though they're made for sort of like bike and car use, they all adapt to like household purposes as well, don't they? Well, we use it on everything now. Well, I was going to say we use it on everything, don't we? Claire says uh, Sharon was doing everything, bless her. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it works really well on the spray polish is if you've got an aluminium fridge. Then it works that works really well on it. Um but so does washing it down with the streak free shampoo as well. So just pick that up a minute, babe. That's the shampoo. And it is streak free, I think, yeah. yeah. You would only need yeah, like you would only need the tiniest, tiniest bit in a bucket. Or in, you know, sort of like a washing up bowl of water. And you could just clean your whole house from top to bottom mm. with it, couldn't you? You certainly do the windows, mirrors, stuff mm. like that. I've got videos on YouTube of cleaning both the Harley and the Jello with all of these, haven't I? Mm. And I've left it, I left it out in the sun. Uh, I rinsed it off, I didn't rub it down. I just left it to see if there was any streaks. In fact, on the jowler, I left it without rinsing it. There was any streaks in there. Claire says, I'm going to do my fridge tomorrow now. You said that. We'll take pictures before and after because <laughs> she's got the shampoo. All right. Well, I mean, if I do the windows, I use the, the shampoo, don't I? And I, I do fine with my fibro as well because it's an effort for me to, to do the windows and it's not an easy task for me to do it. That because I can just leave it. It's you know. better for the environment as well, than being natural. You know, you know, just throw your water down the sink and not worry about it. Mm. There's a lot of the bleach and all that, like, it's, it's awful. Putting that stuff down the drain. We do worry about what's in cleaning products quite a lot, don't we? Yeah. Mm. I tend to use a lot of essential oils, don't I, when I'm cleaning? Mm. I like the smell of them. I don't like these artificial things like. 
it is something that we would love to do, isn't it? A range of natural cleaning products, yeah. like household cleaning products as well. Yeah, <laughs> not got right, not got the right lot of time. We'd love to do a dog range. We'd love to do a toddler and baby range. There's so much we'd love to do, isn't there? This life never gets boring because we've always got yeah. something that we could make. Well, there's a couple of things we've been working on the past few weeks, isn't there? Oh, no, but the newest one's so exciting. Well, I'm not allowed to say. No. Ah. Claire says, the front of my fridge is so annoying. You clean it and it's like, well, shouldn't have bothered. Never thought of the shampoo. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Not my hair shampoo, the whole bike shampoo. It works incredibly well, Claire. You won't believe it. But the new, oh, new product is ridiculously that exciting. Really about greasy palm marks on the fridge. The street free shampoo mm. it works fantastically well. Just bung some of that in a bowl with a bit of water and wash it down and leave it and it just dries remarkably well. That, that would do it if you just wanted to do a little bit. You know? mm. all, all these are using all the time now. Oh, they're remarkable, babe. They are absolutely remarkable. I do think your metal polish is probably one of your biggest ever achievements. It's a bit understated one, but I think... It is for me personally, yeah. Um, Lou's just said new product with loads of question marks. Yep, it's secret. Can't say. <laughs> Can't say. It's... Uh, but, oh, my God, it's incredible. It's not twist arm, we're not saying... No, it is absolutely incredible. But I would say the metal polish is your second biggest achievement after Pain Slayer. That's how good it is. Because people did just say that it couldn't be done. So there's a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it can. Claire says it's a big American mirrored type um, and it's black and it never looks clean. Oh, I'll well, be prepared to be amazed. You're saying tomorrow, I bet she'll go and clean a blinking fridge after this live now. <laughs> but, you know, in you know, Claire's fibro plays her up terribly. Claire, how much of a solution would that be for you if you can just go and put, put a tiny bit of the, the streak-free shampoo in a bowl and, and just give it a quick wipe over and leave it? So, yeah, we've got um, May the 12th. No, it's just people's grubby mitts. Um, new product, May the 12th. That's all we can say. But it's amazing. It's fabulous. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, so it's Fibromyalgia Awareness Day. Um, so we always launch a new product on May the 12th and we always launch new products Christmas. That's the only two times of the year that we do it. Um, knuckle Duster Hand Wash was... A little bit of an exception to the rule, wasn't it? Uh, so we released the knuckle duster hand wash literally just because of the coronavirus situation. Yeah. Lou says, is it for body or bikes? The new product, are we allowed to say that much? It's up to you. Well, put it this way, it's been released on fibromyalgia day. So it's for body, I can, we can say that much, I think. Jimmy says, I think when I do the BMW before it goes on the road, uh, goes off the road for winter, we're getting some of your products and get pictures before it goes out and after the winter when it gets put away for the summer and I'll post them on your site. Brilliant. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, nice one. But they... Uh, well, I've not seen you I know, Jimmy, we've not seen you forever, have we? Lou says I don't have a bike. <laughs> <laughs> not even a push bike. And Lou says, yeah, body, yay. Um, yeah, no, it's a fantastic product that we've got coming up. I think you're quite excited about it. I'm over the moon with it. I'm using, I'm using it at the moment and it's just fantastic. It's just, yet again, just like smash the ball out of the ballpark, babe. It's fantastic. So I'm very, very excited about this one. It's not just a pretty face. <laughs> well, it's one we've wanted to do for a very long time isn't it yeah. again it's another one that we've wanted to do for a very very long time 
got quite a few things in the pipeline, haven't we? Mm. I've even got one for this. Have you? Mm. I don't even know about that. No. Because I did say ages ago. You ain't listening. <gasps> <laughs> well, I remember when you told me. actually make a little bit experimental it needs tweaking I've just not a chance again not time with her oh I'm racking my brains now I can't think he's looking at me so you should remember I will try and remember Jimmy says new product yeah yeah hopefully one another one that will help my mum and Claire says everything always is fantastic. Genius man over there. I know he is clever boy. Oh, you're getting a swelled head. <laughs> Claire says it's roller joint. <laughs> <laughs> You've not really done anything else with that, have you? We've kind of got half developed yeah, and then we've just not had time. We've just not had time. Put on the spanner in the works, haven't it, really? Mm. Something weird just having to work. Hours and hours to keep the wheels turning, aren't we? Mm. Yeah, it's certainly keeping us on our toes. Not so certain. I'm just trying to think what else you could put the chrome and alloy oil on. Well, front door furniture is a must, isn't it? Especially yeah, in the winter. Bailey's just shoving me as if to say, excuse me, taking up far too much of the safe for mummy. Are you comfortable there, little one? There's a big buzz at the moment, I suppose, the equivalent and easy way around something like this is what everyone's going for at the moment, the ceramic coatings. But there's a lot of nasties in there. Terrible for the environment. So uh, it's not something I'd use on my bike. No. Um, Claire says you're running a business, just the two of you. You can't do everything. Smashing it, guys, and we thank you. Thank you, darling. Claire says Jet's in the same position as Bailey. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but there's like a whole like U shaped so sofa, L shaped sofa. Um, Bailey's trying to push me off like the little corner that I'm sat in. Well, it usually comes bugging me, doesn't it? Mm. The light. It starts pestering to play, doesn't it? But yeah, we literally found some time, didn't we, the other day with this new product. We've been talking about it forever. We've been talking about it for ages and ages and ages. So we we kind of knew what we wanted to do with it and done all the research. It was just a case of like it, actually it? physically making it to see if it worked and it's exceeded what we expected it to do, hasn't it? To the extent that I was dancing around the lab yesterday. <laughs> it's fantastic. So we will be launching that on the lunchtime live at May, on May the 12th. And we've got a couple of other things up our sleeves as well, haven't we, for May the 12th too. Claire says, same massive sofa here and Jet has most of it. <laughs> They're nightmares, aren't they? Um, same every night. She makes me go to bed at 10. She's loving lockdown life. <laughs> Hopefully they'll all be joining us on May the 12th. Mm live we'll both be doing it yeah we usually do it over an hour don't we on may the 12th so we usually do something quite big but we've just not been able to this year have we with the it's just been the two of us and having to make yeah, pack mm -hmm. do all the office work lives post office just absolutely everything by ourselves it's um 12.60 nowadays, aren't we, mm -hmm. at some, some points. 
I think we went three weeks without a day off, didn't we? Yeah. It's got to be done, hasn't it? It's got to be done. And we're still alive and kicking. We'll still be going back on tomorrow, I think. It's funny, really, because the Jawa is more of a, a winter bike, isn't it? Mm. What I tend to do is clean it, MLT it, and then put it away. <laughs> <laughs> Which seems a bit strange, doesn't it? But mm, The harder it comes out to play, doesn't it? Mm. Claire says, how many May the 12th lives have you done? Well, last year was a really, really big one because we completely relaunched all the products with all the new label designs. So every single product has a different look. It was May the 12th when we introduced the Pain Slayer Shower Suds. I think so. Gosh, they're a year old. May the 12th when we introduced Headbanger. Yeah. So... Headbanger was our flagship product for May the 12th last year. Um, I was going to do the Annie Blue as well, didn't I? Mm. But, um, that got a bit delayed, didn't Yeah. So that was last year. The, and then the, the year we did one the year before, but that was a lot more kind of lower key, really. We were a lot smaller then. So last year's was the biggest. And it was then really, I suppose, that we decided that any new products would just be twice a year. Oh, excuse me, yawning. That's the curse of the live. Yeah. Fibro um, day and Crimbo day. Yeah, Fibro day and Crimbo day, so twice a year. Um, just so we can keep on top of the marketing, really, more than anything else, isn't it? Um, so customers know where, the, when this, where they stand. So, yeah, exciting times. Claire says, yeah, I've seen two of them. That's why I have asked. But last year was obviously the biggest mm -hmm. that we'd done. The biggest headache as well. Yeah. Actually, we needed some headbanger. Yeah. It was I quite ironic. Yeah, quite ironic. Never get headaches. Mark certainly doesn't ever get headaches. Um, but we needed headbanger ourselves for that. We had so many problems with the person that was doing our labels people, yeah yeah. Our yeah it was the printer doing our labels just let us down repeatedly did a really bad job mm. yeah really bad job let us down repeatedly didn't get orders done properly it was just an absolute headache uh claire says it was amazing i remember the build up to it all it was really really exciting and we were so excited about it but we were just having to fight all these problems in the background with the printer all the time. That was the only problem that we had, really, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, we wouldn't recommend them to anybody, would we? No, definitely not. It's really nice being able to say that now, actually, isn't it? <laughs> so the work was absolutely appalling, like they're meeting timescales and stuff. It was really bad, wasn't it? Um. Trying to, we were trying to keep things local, really. Support mm. local business and all that, but that's what happens. Claire says, can you remember I was going on holiday and waiting for the Pain Slayer shower suds to arrive before I left? Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, yeah, I'm not going without him. <laughs> Gosh, she seems mad that it was a year ago. It's flown past, does not it? Bev says, thank you for my pain slayer in Bath share, but it came really fast um, for saying there was just two of you. Thank you so much. We do our best, darling, yeah, don't we? Yeah. We don't like waiting for anything when we've ordered it. We absolutely hate it. It's one of our pet hates. So uh, we always try to make sure that items get out as quickly as they possibly can. Why do we always yawn when we're doing lives? Yeah. I know, I'm quite surprised you haven't started joining yet if I'm your name. So yeah, I'm really excited about uh, launching this new product and the other things that we've got up our sleeves. Well, I suppose really when you think about it, there's three, four, five new products, isn't there? Yeah. I mean... Uh, when it comes to like supplying like 
customer service all we do is put ourselves in customers place like we're, we're customers ourselves aren't we mm. and we say what we want and how we want it and I don't think a lot of people do that no it means a lot to us yeah. doesn't it yeah. what, what gets up my nose and what do we really like about getting stuff Jimmy says, I can remember that if you came down a few times and you were tearing your hair out because they'd turned up, um, they hadn't turned up or they were the wrong font on the labels and stuff. Yeah. It was horrific, wasn't it? It's probably the most stressed we've ever been since we started MCC, isn't it? It was particularly annoying because we gave them more than ample notice and time I gave them we, two months' notice, didn't we? All the designs and everything, we made it as easy as possible and still let us down. Ah, oh, Claire says no business will ever be like yours, ever. Cool, nice thing to hear. Yeah. Well, I mean, Irving did a spreadsheet, didn't I, and everything to make life easy for him mm. with like all the products in it what size the labels were how many we wanted going by their costings how much it should cost and they still managed to mess it all up didn't they anyway it's all behind us now isn't it that thank goodness just check the time I think I'm ready for an early night tonight, love. We've been busy again today, haven't we? No? 20.39? Time for us to do one. Yeah. So, as we usually say, any questions, anything like that, suggestions? If the weather is nice next week, what I might do is run the Harley out and then the tank, the wax polish. Go to the... Chelsea says, been using sleepy head a lot again recently, been keeping me calm as my heart rate's been high and I'm um, upset. So Bev says, really needed it, is really stressed with my son having chemo, but I sure it's not nice uh, having to be his nurse. Um, so need to be well. Of course you need to be well, my darling, and we send you all our love. What's wrong with him? So having chemo. Oh, right. Um, But yeah, I know we're really glad the products are helping you, mm. sweetheart. So we're going to jump off. I hope he's uh, through all that soon. I'm feeling better. It's not normal. I can't help it. I am very tired, actually. I think I'm ready for an early night. So rock and roll, aren't we? We're oh. going to, after this live, we'll go into bed with um, a cup of tea and biscuits. Does everyone get like that at our age? <laughs> we used to. I know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> don't know what happened. Certainly not anymore, are we? Um. Yeah. So we'll jump off. I'll see you tomorrow lunchtime at twelve. Yeah. Um. Mark will be back on Tuesday. He might That's pop true. his face yeah. in a, one of the lunchtime lives at some point. But I think he's got quite a lot to be keeping him out of mischief at the moment, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you soon. Thanks ever so much for Take joining. Care, see Look you. Bye bye. See ya.